Let's take a look at my favorite and least favorite picks from the first round of the NFL draft. I'm going to try my best not to cover up the names here. We'll start with some of my favorites. I think the Chiefs moving up and getting Xavier Worthy at 28 overall might be the best pick of the first round. Such a good fit for what they want to do with Mahomes. Similar play style to what Tyreek was when they had him. Andy Reid is just adding another toy to an already exciting offense. And with Patrick Mahomes, he's going to make everybody around him better. Xavier Worthy is so much more than just a speed guy, too. Like, everything on his film stands out. I really like that the Lions were able to move up a few picks and get Terry and Arnold. A lot of people think he's the best defensive back in this draft. Even if he's not, I think he's a really safe, solid pick. Nick Saban coach defensive backs don't fail very often in this league. I really like the Niners coming and getting Ricky Pearsall. Listen, everybody was talking about Lab McConkey, the white receiver, you know, out of Georgia. Everyone forgot about this white receiver out of Florida. This guy is a freak athlete. He's a specimen. Makes some of the best catches you'll ever see. He's got after the catch, great in and out of his routes. I love Ricky Pearsall. I really like the Giants getting Malik Neighbors. I think they got the best player in the draft in the first round. I think he's overall the best player in this draft. Uh, can they find someone to throw him the ball? We'll see, but I love that pick at six. I think what the Vikings did moving up twice to get J.J. McCarthy and Dallas Turner, J.J. McCarthy might end up being the best quarterback in this draft because he's going into probably the second most favorable situation besides Caleb. And then you have Dallas Turner, who might be the best defensive player in this draft, and you get him at 17. Outstanding job by Minnesota, using those first-round picks better than you could even have imagined. Rams getting Jared Verse. Listen, Jared Verse, if it's not Dallas Turner, Jared Verse might be the best defensive player in this draft. Um, and then the last but not least of the goods, Drake May going third overall. I think Drake May is the best quarterback in this draft. I think he's the most comparable to like Josh Allen, Justin Herbert in this draft. I think he's going to be a star, and New England got their guy. They just have to surround him with the right pieces. Now on to picks that I don't like, and there's plenty of them. My, Michael Penix Jr. to Atlanta. I mean, I love Michael Penix Jr. You just can't understand why they would take him at eight. You could have got him later. You could have traded back. You just signed Kirk Cousins. The answers aren't there. We don't know why. Probably never will know why, but this is a horrible decision. Bo Nix going at 12. I hate it. I really hate it. Don't think he's going to be a good pro prospect. Um, 12 is way too early. I had him as like a second or third round grade. Just a huge reach. Just fell into the quarterback feeding frenzy and just a terrible decision. The Packers taking Jordan Morgan. Huge reach. Was going to be available probably in the second round. Never heard of the guy before this pick. Packers just always want to be different. I mean, listen, if it works out for him, great. But there was other guys on the board much better than him. I'll go all the way back to the top for my last one. Caleb Williams. Obviously, everyone has him as the first pick. But here's my thing. I don't like him. I mean, the way he interacts with media. This guy's a bust waiting to happen. And if he does, he's got no one to blame but himself. 